Good morning, Detector Rats. Park Rat Pat here. Whew, day after my birthday. I ate too much sugar yesterday for sure. Up half the night. Now I've got heartburn. But uh, still had a fun time. Good to get out with friends, eat some cake, have some laughs. I'm here today in Melbourne at a little park across the street from where a old fancy hotel used to be. I'm waiting to hear back from the owner of that property if I can get out there and detect. But this public park behind me has yielded lots of coins in the past, modern coins. And it's been about a year and a half since I've been here, so my detecting skills are a little better. And I'm hoping to find a little bit more. Let me get out there and start swinging. I'll let you know what I find at the first hole. coin on the day a uh, slightly mower modified modern nickel I love that all right in the pouch okay I got just a short chirp here and I uh, get down there about five inches or so 1989 quarter super not bad all right gonna be a good day out here let me keep swinging Well, I couldn't see it at first because it was under the grass there, but uh, somebody's makeup thingy. Cool. All right, in the pouch. All right, everybody. Looks like we just tagged our third coin down here. Crusty Zinc Penny. Glad I got that one out of the way. Awesome stuff. And another dinky zinky here. Loving that. All right, eh, it's not as uh, loaded as it was the first time I came here. Uh, hopefully there's been enough activity that I'll be finding more good stuff. Still haven't heard back from the uh, property owner across the street there, but I'll probably hear back from him today or tomorrow. So either way, I'm going to go over there and hit the sidewalk strip before I leave. <laughs> Things are still going good here in Zinc Town. Okay, not too deep here. Maybe about an inch and a half. Easy to get out. Looks like a 2012 dime. Super duper. Got some weird color on it, but hey, I'll take them no matter what they look like. Hokey dokey. I got a penny signal, which is obviously not a penny. Check that out. Some type of jewelry thing. Even if it is cheap stuff. Let me uh, double check and make sure that was all that was in the hole there. Oh, look at that. So there was a penny by it. That's awesome. <laughs> I can't, uh, can't see if this is a memorial or a wheat. Let me take a closer look at this one. I'll be right back. And we're back. Okay, the beads are plastic. Nothing on them registers at all. That was just a lucky find, I guess. And the penny is a wheat penny. Looks like it's been mower mangled. And what's the year on this bad boy? Looks like a 1958D. D as in damaged boy. Look at that. All right, happy to have a weedy though. All right, throw that one in the pouch and on with this hunt. Well, I had to do some serious root cutting for this one, but looks like I got me another dime, 2,000 something. You know my eyes. <laughs> okay, take a little break here and keep on with it. This area has been good to me. Woohoo, still going strong. Down here, Park Rat digs another deep dime. Looks like a 91P. All right, well, focus. So that's somewhere in there. You'll see it at the end. <laughs> All right, on with the hunt. Okie dokie, literally that far away from where I got that last time. I got a nice Jefferson nickel. See if we can get a year on this one. 
Uh, can't see it. Try to brush it off a little better. What are we getting there? 78. Beautiful. Man, that's got some nice color to it. Great condition. <laughs> All right. Happy save. On we go. All right. We went about two inches down for that one. Looks like a nice state quarter. Hell yeah. Beautiful stuff. All right. <laughs> Glad I came back to this place. Well, this is a park rat first. <laughs> Got a nice 94 signal down there, but it was steady, so I went for it and found it in the clod. Look at that. That's one of those little security knobs they put on clothing and stuff. Apparently somebody stole something and then broke this piece off out here and left it, and eventually it just sunk into the ground. And it doesn't surprise me for the kind of neighborhood we're in I don't know if y'all can see the little flashing lights over there let me see if I can zoom in uh, apparently somebody found a dead body under the bridge so sad day for them but uh yeah this is one of those kind of neighborhoods even though the park looks beautiful all right keeping my guard up and keeping swinging all right I got a scratchy penny signal right there and uh, I know it's hard to tell in the picture but you know that's a full shovel head down and pulled out this beauty right here y'all recognize that huh that's from a cap gun nice I think it's a, a hubbly but uh beautiful I found gun pieces like this before at permissions and stuff so super happy to have that relic there's good stuff out here. I'm gonna keep finding it. All right, I got about eight inches away and had to go about two inches deeper for a zinc penny. Man, that thing had sunk far. Can't actually say it's a zinc. Uh, this could be a copper. Let me see what the year is. If we can zoom in on that. The lighting out here is kind of atrocious right now, but uh, 1982. Yep, it's copper. Awesome. All right, I'm going to take another little break and get on with this hunt. Super cool. Right there, about five and a half inches in. Penny signal, but it ain't no penny. Look at this. Old timey fuse with a little plastic or glass or whatever that is still in place. We should be able to read up on this when we get it home and get it cleaned up. That is an awesome find. Man, I love this place. Okay, I've started in on the sidewalk strip here. Got my first coin. Nice penny. What's the year on that? 76. Beautiful condition. All right, keep it swinging. Okay, well that sidewalk strip yielded me about three or four uh, zinc pennies and that was that I came back over here to the park area First good signal here coin spill. I got a penny and a dime. Let's see what year that dime is from uh, 2004 nice all right happy to have those throw them in a pouch swing on for a little while more hey, Just there get another little coin spill two pennies. They're stuck together that's awesome. I'll leave them stuck together for now and check them out at home. All right, running out of time here. Going to swing on a little more. Then I'm going to have to call it a day and get to wrapping this video up. Well, I haven't got one of these since I hunted from uh, with Rob from FL Thunder. There you go. Of course, last time I got eight of them in a row. Let's hope that doesn't happen again. <laughs> All right. Good signal here. Nice copper penny. I do believe that's copper. What's the year here? Oh yeah. 60s model. It'd be a 61. I'll have to look at that closer at home. Alright, this is probably going to be the last target of the day. Look for me at the roundup. Okay, detector rats. I am backing away from a property. And you'll see it as I go by. I just landed the permission for this place. So, I gotta switch hands here. <laughs> so I will be out here tomorrow. This had a huge house on it. And there's not much left. It's on the other side of that camper there. But a couple of acres worth of property here. 
they left the shell of the house in place and this is a place easily from the 1920s if not earlier so very happy to have that permission you're gonna see me out there tomorrow enjoying it and hopefully finding some really cool stuff all right I'm back on the road headed home you'll see me in the roundup this is a beaut <laughs> I've been dying to get on that property man awesome stuff what a happy day hey hey detector rats it's roundup time and good news time man they've got the silt barrier up across the street and the pipe in the ground that means this coming weekend I'll be able to hunt there and have a good time I got a new permission on the way home a place I've been dying for I showed you that in the last clip so that's gonna be an awesome hunt tomorrow no matter what I find I'm just excited to finally be out there the dead body was not a dead body it was however a bad case of dehydration and malnutrition a homeless person uh, they ended up taking him to the hospital I had talked to the officer that was there on my way out so you know keep him in your prayers thank God he's still alive all right here is the round up what did I get I got a dollar twenty in clad two quarters two nickels four dimes and 20 pennies these two I decided to leave stuck together and this was my wheat penny that was a uh, mower mangled and that was what year did we say on that one 1958 super stuff man got one of these edger blades <laughs> I've gotten those before you've seen that I got this really cool fuse um, hard to read what it says on it through the uh, lens there but I'm sure y'all can make that out those are super cool and this one's complete I don't usually find them like that so that's really exciting for me my best find of the day cap gun piece right here and I found cap guns exactly like this before the Texan uh, it's a Hubley and this little piece here is in good shape so really happy to have rescued that relic from the ground what an amazing morning it's been I'm glad y'all came along for the adventure Please like, share, subscribe. God bless, and never forget you are only one hole away from a really good day.